Hey guys, and we'll go back to another episode of Planet Coaster. This is episode 3 of Lunar Gardens. And uh, today I started on the main streets. I built uh, one small house. I don't know why. Kind of just like a space holder. And I built a cafe opposite of the house. And I'm pretty actually satisfied with uh, how it turned out. Especially the halfway. I think that looks really nice. Um, obviously, <laughs> I don't really have a theme going on. Um, I'm not the greatest when it comes to themes. And uh, I, I find. I just tried to have a modern. No, not modern, but like a. theme kind of generic, but not like the generic set that they. stuff that they give you in um, the planet coaster, like the generic like blue roofs, white walls, that kind of thing. I didn't want to go for that. Um, but the cafe, I was inspired by. Um, on Akenda's Wonderland, uh, the main streets, uh, there's actually kind of two sides to the main street. I don't even know if you can call it a main street. I, I call it a main street. Um, there is a Starbucks cafe. That's what this cafe was really inspired by. And when I was building it, that's kind of what I was thinking of. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I think it looks really nice. And uh, it does look like a cafe, I hope. Um, <laughs> Anyways, speaking of Candace Wonderland, tonight, um, I don't know if I'm going to upload it the day I'm um, re recording this voiceover. Tonight, which is uh, the 29th of April, is Season Pass Preview Night for Canada's Wonderland. I'm assuming maybe some other Cedar Fair parks are also having a preview night. And since uh, Canada's Wonderland is my home park, I live about an hour away from Canada's Wonderland. And I really want to go because I'm a season pass holder again. It's Wonderland, but I can't because um, I I don't have a ride. And if I don't have a ride, how am I gonna get there? I'm not old enough to ride, which kind of sucks. But you know, it is what it is. So yeah, no Canada's Wonderland for me. Very sad uh, about it, but you know I'm gonna be going plenty of times in this season. And that's still gonna be lots of fun. Getting back to the video, however, as you can see, I'm kind of just messing around with wooden beams and signs and fences and all these great things. I just kind of just wanted to see what I could do with this first building. This was very much an experiment. Uh, I think it was pretty okay. I mean, it's nothing amazing or spectacular. And this was uh, probably the hardest part of this build the roof was really uh frustrating and at first i used the blue roofs uh but i realized they are much too tall for a building that scale so i switched to uh the smaller roofs i don't remember what they're called they're like they look kind of like mediterranean to me but i realized that looks like absolute crap when you compare it to um the walls and the style of them so I had to settle for um, I liked the size of the roof but I didn't like the design so I tried to uh, do something that's a lot of people are doing in this game with uh, the wooden uh, boards and I just wanted to um, make the roof kind of look wooden and I still didn't really like it how it was right now uh, I tried to fix my problem, but I couldn't. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I deleted all these wooden beams, and um, I just made them shorter. That was my solution. Uh, I'm not going to talk over the whole video, because I don't have much to say, really. I think I might have said that before. The, right, right there now, you know I had nothing to say. Um, I just hope that uh, you guys are enjoying the Planet Coaster series. Um, I'm going to try to upload as consistently as I can. Life is busy with the school year coming to an end um, in a couple months here in Canada. And uh, it's, it's, it's difficult to find time to record. Um, and Planet Coaster is still a relatively new game to me uh, in terms of like the building ways and the roller coaster building ways. It's all new to me. Um, but I'm starting to get the hang of it, kind of. Uh, anyway guys, I'm just going to stop talking and you guys can watch them enjoy the time lapse with some music. 
and I will uh, come back at the end and just give you a little overview. So that's all for me for now. I will see you in a couple of minutes.
Alright guys, welcome back, and uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the little time lapse of me building the cafe, uh, and what you see now is m me starting on the uh, creek. Um, it was originally going to make a river with this uh, pathway, with a, it has a water texture, but I decided on just doing a creek, as you can see here I'm kind of making the creek, and my plan was to have a river leading to the creek. Um, but uh, as you can see later, I, I just kind of scratched the idea because it would have been a lot of work. Um, if anyone's wondering, I got this idea from another YouTuber I watch. He plays some city skylines and Planet Coaster by the name of um, Strict Toaster. I'm not sure if he's the first one to do this, but I saw him um, make an artificial river and lake with this path. And I thought it actually looked really nice. Uh, considering the limited uh, terraforming options we have right now, uh, I think it's really uh, the closest thing that you can get to a lake in this game. And I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out. It, it looks pretty legitimate. Uh, obviously those holes in the middle, I had to um, find a way to get rid of them, and I did. Uh, so those are noticeable, which is nice. Obviously, um, it looks kind of strange having the bushes aligned the way they are, and I did change that. Eventually, I put a boat and stuff there. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this creek turned out. Anyway guys, uh, this episode is now almost wrapped up. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you uh, like the series, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'm going to try to upload this a little more often. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching, and uh, peace out.